You may be checking for none or none type and setting yourself up for a potential bug. Here, I mocked up a function that returns whatever input I give it to illustrate a situation where you may have a function that returns none or zero or an empty string. If you've ever done a simple Boolean check like this, then you'll find that all of them are falsy and I'm printing out that I got a none type when that's not necessarily true. I could also illustrate it this way. If zero or empty string or none, this should never print. Else, all of the previous expressions are falsy. So when I run this, it shows that yes, all of the previous expressions are indeed falsy. Instead, you want to use is none or is not none. This way, if I check if a return value of zero is none, that should be false. And this should not print. If the return value is an empty string, this should also never print. But if the return value is a none type, then it will print. And we can see here that it does print only for none type. I hope this helps you avoid some bugs and debugging headaches. If you found this tip helpful, please like the video.